Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your man Chad. I'm here. What else do you want? Well, you probably want to see a cool video, right? Well, that's what we're going to do tonight. I've got a video coming up that's going to show you a lot of the vehicles uh, and projects that I've worked on over the last few years. And I'm super duper proud of every single one of them. And I can't wait to tell you all about them. And it's coming up right now. Alright, here's the first one. This is the most recent uh, thing that I've painted, which was an 01 Volkswagen Beetle uh, 1.8 turbo, so 5 speed, so it was pretty quick. Fun little car to drive. Here's some pictures of the uh, sanding in progress. Uh, there is the spray paint that I used. Well, here we are. We got stage 1 complete. We've got the white base down. Uh, I didn't put any on the sides. I'm sure you know why because you're watching this and I'm sure you've seen the picture. But uh, I did do the roof. I did do the tail there. Do the trunk. Got everything. All the white laid down. Lighting in here kind of sucks. So I'm hoping that I got it nice and even. So like I was saying, there's the base coat in white. I did not get any pictures of me spraying the red. I apologize for that, but there's the final product. And man, I got to tell you, I was so, so impressed with how the paint laid down on this thing. It was so nice and uh, really good looking car. And here's my old GSXR 750. Um, it had a beautiful paint job on it. I got to tell you, man, the thing had great paint, but I can't leave stuff alone. So it had to go satin black, which is my uh, all-time go-to paint color because I just love the way the satin lays down. And, of course, you can never go wrong with a good old monster sticker. Now, here's my old 64 Nova. Man, I really, really wish I still had this car. That was a very, very fun car to drive. Uh, Super-duper fun. Um, of course, had to paint that thing satin black, bought some, uh, $50 wheels and polished them up, sanded them, polished them, did all that good stuff to them, had them looking really sharp. And, uh, man, that was a fun, fun car. It's just a little inline six cylinder, but man, that was a very, very fun car to drive. And it got tons of looks, turned a lot of heads. I can't remember what year this Cherokee was, but it was red when I got it and had all kinds of scratches and stuff in it. So I bought some uh, Rust-Oleum truck bed liner and rolled it on. And uh, one of my other favorite colors is orange. So I thought it would be really cool to paint part of it orange and put the racing stripes on it. And man, that thing came out really nice. Did a three inch lift, bought new wheels and tires and man, totally gave that thing a whole new look. And uh, another one that was super fun to drive. Wish I still had it. And, of course, I can't remember what year Sportster this was. Maybe it was an 05. I think it was my 05 Sporty 1200. And uh, had beautiful paint. I did paint the fairing on it. But then I had to go ahead and paint the whole damn thing. And uh, that came out really super nice. And that was a gray metallic. Here we have an 03 harley ultra classic i don't have any other pictures of it when i bought it uh it looked like uh, any old grandpa's 100th anniversary black and silver i got bored with that real quick chopped off the trunk um literally with a sawzall and uh put on a aftermarket fender stretched bags cut some holes in the lids put some speakers in there added a better stereo system 
and of course painted it satin black put some gangster white walls on her man that was a good looking bike won a few bike shows with it really really pretty bike and then of course i got bored with that so i added some white to it yeah you know the drill starting to figure things out now huh yep had to add some white to it i already uh, had the pinstripe done but uh all kinds of custom stuff i did to that bike and most of it i did myself uh other than the pinstripe but uh i put i i actually painted the entire bike um which i'm extremely proud of uh had my buddy nick help me out making custom sissy bar and uh super duper proud of that and um man that was a neat neat bike and here we have the old 78 kawasaki kz 1000 stock when i got it of course wasn't gonna stay like that for long i painted the frame had the uh uh all the tins on it which they're plastic but had them all uh wrapped in a vinyl wrap painted the engine and my buddy nick again did some awesome i mean awesome fabrication i painted the wheels he made the uh custom one-off brake rotors um he did so much work to this bike everything that i wanted he made happen this is completely nick easter day and man that dude is a freaking beast that is a one-of-a-kind kz 1000 and yeah it won some shows too here's my old rx8 that was a fun little car um had a really good time with that the paint was a little ugly on it so of course i decided i better do something about that so uh i took it and went from black and started doing a little bit of sanding here and there and got some more sanding done to it and bam here's something different yellow yeah a little rust-oleum yellow that was a very very pretty color that thing laid down so nice and i painted it right there in my garage a little one car garage cramped up and uh, a little did a little two-tone job on there and uh i think it speaks for itself that was a very very pretty paint job and man you want to talk about turning heads that thing did it had a really super duper nice shine to it and uh i was really proud of the way that thing came out man that was really a super neat car and um i was really really impressed with the way that that yellow turned out um there's the color uh, i can't remember i think it was some i can't remember what it's called sunset or some shit like that i can't remember but really neat color and last but not least my old audi tt another little five speed fast little car couldn't keep it silver though could i had to do the little red white and black action on it and after a few weeks i even added the little r8 stripe to it so that one turned out super duper neat too and here's the old tl1000 it had one of those goofy color changing paint jobs on there you know that you get out of the rattle can turn it from green to purple or whatever and i didn't like that at all so of course i went to my good old favorite satin black and uh, had a buddy of mine make me up some orange suzuki uh decals and uh that was a neat bike too um so the recurring theme is basically i just can't leave stuff alone and if you're at all like me uh you're really going to enjoy this channel because that's basically what i do i take something that doesn't look too bad and i make it into my own so i'm glad you're here and hope you like and subscribe and we'll see you next time